The SEC is closely watching that surge in trading in bitcoins. Monday, the agency forced unregistered company Munchie, based in California, to cease and desist selling digital tokens to investors. The company has complied. SIBO successfully launched futures trading on bitcoins and CME Group prepares to make a debut next week. Investors have been sending shares of both trading exchanges to higher heights. Joe Cahill of Crane Chicago Business has more. Well, the exchanges see this as a big new growth opportunity. It's a new product that they can trade, and there's tremendous interest in it, at least uh, for now, so they see some upside here. By introducing futures contracts on Bitcoin, the exchanges open up trading to larger institutions, banks and other financial firms um, that weren't able to trade it before. So that can expand the market and that's the kind of clientele that, uh, uh, that they rely on in many of their other business lines. Joe, are there any concerns to report? Uh, well, there, there's been some concern expressed about it uh, by some other traders in futures markets who are worried about its potential impact on the clearing operations of the exchanges. The, uh, notably, Thomas Petterfee has pointed out that Bitcoin is not rooted in any kind of economic circumstance or basic reality like uh, commodities futures or financials futures are. And he's worried that that could lead to uh, virtually unlimited price swings which could destabilize clearing and potentially affect clearing of, of uh, other products. But the exchanges have promised that they would take steps to prevent any kind of out of control movements like that. I'm Joe Cahill, columnist for Crane Chicago Business.